Only a year ago, the Aurelian sector was all but doomed. The hive ships of the Tyranids hung over each world, seeding them with obscene creatures. The Tyranids were ready to feast. But these worlds are also the recruiting ground for the Blood Ravens, a chapter of the Emperor's own space marines, and they refuse to yield. The veteran Tarkas weathered pitiless alien attacks, allowing Cyrus and his scouts to find weaknesses in our ravenous foes. While Avatus leveled his righteous fury among the Xenos, Thaddeus descended upon them on the wings of fire. And Davian Thule, the first to fall against the Tyranids, returned from death in the form of a mighty dreadnought. You led them all, Commander. Together, you fought across the deserts of Calderas, through the jungles of Typhon, and beneath the great spire cities of Meridian. You faced an implacable enemy, and you triumphed. But there is a truth more implacable than any tyranny. A new threat will always emerge. Once, Planet Aurelia was the Sector's crown jewel, home to billions of souls. Then came the warp storms. They pushed Aurelia into a new orbit, encased the planet in ice, and swallowed it whole. For a thousand years, the warp held Aurelia in its terrible grip, and deposited untold horrors across its surface. Now, planet Aurelia has returned. It should be a barren ball of ice. But a signal is coming from its surface. A blood raven signal. A call for help. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos. We have detected a Blood Raven's distress signal coming from somewhere nearby. If there are Chapter Brothers in need, provide support. But be wary of a trap. Angelos out. Our drop pods have scattered, Commander. Something is interfering with the navigation systems. We should locate our other forces and regroup. Let fly. Remote detonators and demolition packs are more than enough to bring this gate down. Supply crates replenish explosives and other expendable items. Destroy those crates to uncover the supplies. Guardsmen, what are they doing here? Hold your position, Space Marines! I said hold! Lower your weapon, Guardsman. We do not answer to you. Gun them down! I can clear those bunkers with explosives. Attacking them with standard weapons takes much more time. For Emperor and Imperial Scouts here. Sinister is going on here. No loyal guardsman would ever fire on a space marine. I doubt these traitors were alone. Be vigilant. More traitors ahead, and well armed. My scouts wear light armor, Commander, so we had best make use of available cover. A 
as you order. Commander, the immediate area is secure, but this unpopulated glacier is an armed camp. Did this world not just emerge from the warp? If so, someone else got here first. Traitor guards. Just when I was starting to respect them. Hate them if you will, but do not underestimate them. Here they come! Get ready to fire! Traitors! Quickly, while Tarkas has their attention, we should engage them at extreme range and focus our fire. The scum incapacitated Tarkas. Commander! Use a stimulant kit to heal him from a distance, or manually revive him. My thanks, Commander. Our drop pod took anti-air fire on final approach. Only I made it out, and just barely. And still, you made yourself a target to break that ambush. What would the Codex say about that? The tactical squad shall draw the enemy's fire, thus allowing the Devastator squad to attack from a position of strength. Ha! That it does! This whole situation looks like a trap, but there is still a distress signal transmitting from somewhere nearby. We had best locate its source quickly. Standard Imperial Locator Relay. Transmitting a generic distress signal using Blood Raven's codes. Hmm. Just enough to lure us in. Coordinates 9.6 by 11.12. Launch barrage! Artillery, clear the area! A spotter called in that attack from hiding. Cowards. ice pile from orbit. No, we need to secure an approach before we can launch an extraction. Only logic engines can track and target drop pods. Those systems depend on a broadcast array. Then let us act like space marines. Find the array and destroy it. I can advance on that turret in tactical formation without being suppressed. Once in range, I can disable it with a frag grenade. Beginning tactical advance. How can we serve?
Commander, there is an orbital relay ahead. Securing it will give us a defensible fallback position should we need it. It will also allow us to reinforce our squads. Tactical squad! Structure flat!
is en route. Then we should proceed to our extraction point and destroy any other traitors we find. Receiving fire! Servers, kill them quickly. The chapters are ready. Let's go. Get fire. Get coordinates and fire. Space 
space marines. We should expect a counterattack shortly. Agreed. Still, this is a defensible position. We hold here. Thunderhawk Talon Alpha inbound. Hold position. How can we... My Devastator squad should take position in that structure. This whole area will become our killing field. More enemy spotters. Forward observers, kill them quickly. The traitors are laying down a barrage to soften us up. Prepare for an assault.
taking off the attack. What do you expect from traitors? Courage and honor? The reward for treachery. Retribution. Let them fall before us! Let our enemies beware. The victory is ours. Well done, Commander. Those guardsmen have paid the price for betraying the Emperor. We must discover who these traitors were and how they came to use a Blood Raven's code. But we will have to investigate that later. The second strike team I assigned to investigate Aurelia has sent a distress signal. Sergeant Thaddeus and his assault marines are already prepared to deploy, along with the dreadnought Davian Thule. This signal could be another trap, Captain Angelos. This call is a full message, Sergeant. Review the signal on your planetary display and provide whatever support you can.